Oh boy, uh, I don't know who this uh, Andrew uh, Garfield guy is. I never heard of him. I don't know anything about him. I don't know what show he's on. Uh, I've never seen this uh, play Angels in America. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm just tripping over, you know, the news headlines about the about the about the Tony Awards from last night, and uh, you know, just like the you know. Typical war shows, you know, the, the same stuff they've been doing for the last two or three years. They go, they come up on stage and virtue signal about Trump. You know that, you know, just like when the De Niro uh, came up on stage and said "fuck Trump" and the whole crowd cheered. This uh, this guy, I'm assuming he's gay. I guess I don't know who he is. I don't know anything about him, but uh, he, he invoked uh, the recent. Uh, news controversy or the court hearing, whatever, about that uh, Christian Baker refusing to uh, bake that cake for that gay couple, and uh, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, say the ultimate man, these liberals, these Democrats, they're very uncreative. They're not impressing anybody by doing this. Nobody cares. I mean, I'm sure there's probably people who are like into that. You know, like the SJWs, people like that. But you know, I'm, I, I would say like more, most more than half of people in America, they're like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't care what you think. You know what I'm saying? But let me just play, the, play the, play this uh, clip, but for uh, this uh, Andrew guy, Andrew Garfield guy. Jordan Roth, Tim Levy, our producers, to um, other people that are escaping my mind. Miranda Cromwell, um, I adore you. To my own personal tribe, to my mum and dad, I share this with you. To Kate Bryden and Greta Seacat, I share this with you. We are all sacred and we all belong, so let's just bake a cake for everyone who wants a cake to be baked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, so if that's the case, then would you bake a cake? You know, if you had a cake shop, if you had a bakery, if Donald Trump walked in, would you bake a cake for Trump, or would you bake a cake for like a random person and have the uh, the frosting say Trump 2020 on it? If that's the case, then because he, he said he, this this dude said a cake for everybody, right? Okay, if that's the case, you know, you should uh, make a Trump that's, I mean, make a Trump, duh, but make a cake that says Trump 2020 on it, if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the thing about these liberals, man, they just all about double standards and they try to push their little agendas and stuff like that. And it's getting very tiring. It's getting bored. And they weren't, then, they, these, these fools, man, they worse than uh, Christian Bible thumpers. Literally. I have more respect for fundamentalist Christian Bible thumbers than I do uh, Democrats and liberals these days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wish I go back. I wish I can try back in time to the '80s and before. You know what I'm saying? When we, when the right were the were the right were the authoritarians. You know what I'm saying? But these liberals, man, they just uh, push their agenda in your face constantly, like all the time. It's getting it's getting played out. Because if this uh if this Andrew guy if he had some sense, you know what I'm saying he should know better. But I like what Dave Rubin said because you know he's a gay guy himself, and he said pretty much say like you know if a bakery refuses to bake you a gay cake, find another baker. <laughs> you know, play it simple. You know what I'm saying. But uh, this is a gay agenda, man. It's just getting out of control. You know what I'm saying. You know I don't hate gay people, but I'm just saying that don't force it on people who don't want it you know what i'm saying you know gay people they're the minority you don't have that much influence of, of the general society you know what i'm saying the only, the only place they have influence is pretty much like in hollywood uh academia colleges you know the corporate world but everyday america you guys are minority you're a subculture Th that's how it is you know what I'm saying uh, heterosexuality is the, is, the, is the norm, you know what I'm saying, uh, but that's the way it is, you guys are a minority, you know what I'm saying, I'm not denying you guys humanity, 
but <laughs> don't force don't force it on uh, don't force on the kids don't force it in, in schools you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but uh but i just find that i just i'm just tripping up tripping over this clip and it's just so you know like i say this retro sick and stuff is just played out man you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm sick of it that's uh, i'm not i won't say i'm sick of it. i am but it's, it's come to a point that cause it's, it's kind of like a phase first it was sickening then it was annoying and now it was kind of like funny and comical because i can't take it seriously you know what i'm saying it's, it's, it's pretty much comical these they're these, these are pretty much just over overprivileged uh white liberals in the ivory towers they're just in old, old little world <laughs> you know what i'm saying and they think the whole world think the way they think uh no no sorry and that's it this is pretty much why the democrats are gonna lose uh the midterms and uh they gotta lose 2020 because they're not smart you know they just fear mongering and saying stuff like fuck trump i mean that's that's not gonna work you know what i'm saying